Well, this morning we are celebrating some favorite animals at the Buffalo Zoo. And it's a good place to go when the kids are off next week. The Buffalo Zoo will be kicking off its festivities with its annual Polar Bear Day. Yeah, it's some good polar bear weather this morning. We're sitting at 39 degrees, but of course there's so much more to do at the zoo, including a nice toasty little spot that can help us pretend like we're on vacation. Hi. Daybreak's Kevin O'Neill is live at the zoo this morning with a little sneak peek. I hear, is that a, a waterfall behind mm -hmm. you, Kev? I'll let other reporters handle the topical stuff. I'll do more of the tropical stuff. Uh, here, here with Julie McGavra once again. Hi. Hi. This is more temperate, like this climate. Yes, we're, we're heating up a little bit this yeah. morning. Well, tell me, where are we? We are in MT Bank Rainforest Falls. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the temperature? I'd say about 77. And a monkey 77. Yes. <laughs> uh, w one of the biggest attractions is actually not an animal at all. And this is, uh, I can imagine my four year old having a blast over there. Yes, our rope bridge is back. Uh -huh. So the rope bridge has actually been closed off for about three years, oh, unfortunately. Yeah. We've been, uh, had to close it down for COVID and then it had some wear and tear, so we had to get it replaced. Um, but it is now fully back open and running for kids to run across. Awesome. <laughs> now with this, you rely a lot on, you know, the one negative about going live here is you rely a lot of daylight here. So yes. we're here, we're here pre-dawn. We are live, by the way, but there is one little friend poking yes, out. Yes, we do have one animal resident joining us this morning. This is Ruby, our capybara. Hi, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> I looked it up. It's a South American herbivore, and it pairs well with white wine. No, I'm just kidding. I know. I, I was hoping to see a howler monkey. They're not around. Not around, unfortunately. I can, They're in bed. I can summon them. I watch a lot of Discovery Channel. <clears throat> Just give me five more minutes. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, we're going to show polar bears. <laughs> polar bear days are, are, are back. Yes, polar bear, polar bear days are back next week, uh -huh. Monday through Friday, $5 off admission. Um, and then we have some fun polar bear activities, an enrichment session, a, a keeper talk, and then some animal ambassador meet and greets and all throughout the day. Another example of an animal that's more lively in the winter. Yes. So polar bears, um, we have our uh, Arctic fox, uh -huh. we have our otters. We got a lot of uh, very uh, active animals in the winter. And there, and your, your day, this is a big takeaway that families, you got, you're open every day when the kids are running around. Yes, absolutely. So it's winter recess next week. We are mm -hmm. open every day, Monday through Friday, as well as the weekends, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. What was the $5 off thing with the food? Yes, thing? $5 off your uh, each admission ticket type, and you can get tickets right at the door or online. I don't know what was, what, in Kevin, what was in Kevin's coffee this morning. The website is buffalozoo.org. Starting tomorrow, they're open every day next week. All right. I don't hurt your voice. It sounds like you're hurting your voice doing the howler monkey. I don't know what he's doing. He's going to summon. It's going to be like somebody yelled Jumanji and all the animals are going to come out. Kevin, thank you. I